Hello everyone, in this video we will see how to build a sniper bot on Solana using BitQuery's real-time data and JupyterSwap API. Sniper bot is a program that automates the process of executing trades based on a predefined set of uh, criteria. So in this video we will be seeing how to execute a swap as soon as a new token is um, generated or uh, created on Solana. We will split the process into two parts. First is getting new token information as soon as it is um, made available using BitQuery subscription. Second is performing the swap using Jupyter Swap API. Um, I will also post the complete code uh, GitHub link in the description. Before we start building, there are two things that we need to remember. First is the delay in Jupyter Swap API. Even though the pool information and token information is available as soon as it is registered on, on the Solana block, it might not be available for trading. You can see that the team members have responded to several posts on Reddit about how they're working on improving the um, real-timeness of the availability. Okay. We need to remember that um, Solana currently has a very high uh, f transaction failure rate. Right? So more often than not, your transactions might not get confirmed. First, we will see how to use BitQuery API to get um, new token information in real time. So to help you with this, we also have a YouTube channel where we post videos on how to um, get information on Solana blockchain. Here I have BitQuery IDE open. Here I've written a query that retrieves the latest um, token created on Radium using the Radium's AMM address here. Now this is a query. If I run it, I will get one record. Instead, if you turn it into a subscription, this subscription will keep track of new tokens created in real time. You can use this query to create build a sniper bot that performs a swap as soon as a new token is generated. For the sake of the demo, we will be using the query so that I can show you how to run the code and how the result will look instead of waiting for a token to be generated. So we will use the query format for this video. You can sign up for a free developer account on BitQuery which gives you 10k points monthly which is sufficient for your testing purposes. I have written the complete logic in one single file, one single um, JavaScript file. You can choose to separate the logic and optimize the code better. We will be using the code sample that is um, presented in the Jupyter Swap API docs. First, we import the libraries that are necessary for this. This is mentioned in the Jupyter Swap uh, docs itself. Other than that, we only need the fetch like cross fetch library so that we can use it to um, call the BitQuery API. I have the necessary information as variables. Next, we write a fetch GraphQL function which will call the um, streaming BitQuery streaming endpoint by passing the OAuth token. This token you can get it from your uh, developer account on the IDE itself. Next, we have a pool get pool address function. What it will do is that it will uh, run the query and then get the pass the response. From the response, we get the token and pool address. Here, if you see the way that uh, Solana passes, Solana instruction returns the response is that the fourth address will be the pool address 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So the fourth address is the pool address, and the eighth address is the token A address of the pair, and token um, address 9 is the token B, which is often Solana token, Solana native token. So we are getting the 4th, 8th and ninth entry of the array and setting the all three values and then returning the complete information as an array. Next, in this function swap tokens, we are getting only the token information and then performing the swap. The swap URL and other information necessary to perform the swap is available on, on the docs for you to copy paste. In this example, they have used a sample URL for you to test. But since we will be executing it on the mainnet, I've added the mainnet URL here. Other than the um, code available on the example, I have added this if condition to filter out um, tokens that are currently not available on Jupyter Swap API ready for trade. Now this is the base. Uh, this is the complete logic. Next, 
what we will do is that we will write a main function that will get the pool address and then perform the swap since pool, get pool address is already calling the bitquery api we don't have to call it separately to run this code you need a solana new solana wallet with sufficient balance so that we can swap the um, soul for the new token while recording this video i've already run the code once and you can see that we get the token information and the uh, swap code but the transaction has exceeded the time limit You can see that the transaction has timed out again. This is a transaction that I executed yesterday and has successfully passed. So this swaps the um, newly generated token for Solana from my wallet and uh, it has successfully executed. To summarize the video, we have seen how to build a Solana sniper bot using BitQuery Solana real-time API and then uh, use Jupyter Swap API to perform the swap. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.